Good morning. It's the 4th of November 2023. This is on the north south interconnector of the pylons. Now, I have enough input into the pylons. I'm getting a bit sick of it at this stage. They're a little less than a mile from my farm. I will be able to see them from my top fields, not from around the general area where I do my farming. Ra ra wind farm is towering over me, but not these. Now, I know a lot of very decent people who want this stopped. And I think most want to stop, but I know a lot of decent people who are looking for a way to handle it. Now, I will only give you my experience. The pylon pressure groups are only one in several I am helping and dealing with. And I generally only help those who will help themselves. Okay, I have worked on getting one stop down in Cork, a big wind farm, and I've worked in getting uh, the North Kildare wind farm stopped and they tried to stop the group going in to see the file during the pandemic and I bullied them out of it using the law and forced the Kildare authorities to let us in and that's and I dealt with that before. Now if you take 10 groups, if you take 10, any sample of my 10 groups, 10 groups I deal with, there'll be five that won't bother their head, they'll hum and haw but they won't do anything. I don't know what it is, maybe they're short of money and that has to be said. And that's that. In one case, a group came to me, two groups came to me the one day, and I had a day to go to the council and check the records, and I choose one, and the other one, and there was an open door there to beat them, and be God, it went up, just because I couldn't get to Navin. And that group kind of says to me, you didn't help us, like, I mean, I can only do so much. There'll be three out of the ten that won't have the money. I, I spent ten days doing out a statement of grounds and, and an affidavit and legal documents for a wind farm group, and it was 40 grand with lawyers. I was helping to provide the lawyers, and uh, by God, they didn't, they didn't have, they just couldn't go on. There were people with young families and building houses and everything wasn't easy so I'd great simply there and then there's two that will act there's two that will act okay now I will not spend my own money on anything that's not to do with the rah rah wind farm in 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 that case because obviously I'm not wouldn't 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 the pile and pressure group and nep love if I come along and spent me money to get them out of it and they wouldn't thank you they would not thank you that said that was a wrong one and the image that's put around with me among the pile and group alone among some of them is that I am some kind of a wrong one oh you're against progress let be said to me in the pub and this is the thing. Now, this offer of money here, they're offering 50,000 per pylon. They're offering 50,000 per pylon. And a lot of landowners are going to, are going to want that. Okay? So, so I mean, um, I'm just going to make the videos on it, help in any way I can, but it's, you're just sharing with many other groups in a similar position. Now, if you, I think there's 104 pylons, go by memory, and 50,000 apiece makes about 5,200,000. That's what... Uh, it'll cost air grid and the total cost is way above that the total cost is 2.2 billion at the last count 2.2 billion so you can see that's two what that is and that's a lot of money so the bit of paying off for the pylons of landowners is not that much now if you look at it uh supposing uh, uh that uh, you had lawyers all landed up and all and we say Airgrid wants to buy them off. And Airgrid is perfectly capable of buying off lawyers. They're experts at this. And the lawyers, a lot of them have no money. So choosing lawyers is going to be very hard if you're taking a judicial review and to go down my route. So if you look at it, one million is only one part in 200... Two, in, 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 in one part... Sorry, not just to get that there. One part in 2,200. So for every 200 euros... To buy off, to give a million to a lawyer is only is only one part in two two o oh, o, oh. and that way they get rid of the whole legal thing. That's one lawyer, okay? Now, so so if you look at, we said that you need a, a solicitor, a barrister, and a senior counsel, a, a, a big a big fella. No, a big pot belly on him, and he'll be there and all the rest. So you need him. So the thing about it is that uh, uh, if they were to buy off all three, it costs one euro in every in every seven thirty three. In every 733, they have to spend in total. So you cannot for a moment rule out, you cannot rule out that in your judicial review, when you get to the circuit court or the, when you go to the high court and move on to the court of appeal, or you're going to move on to the Supreme Court and now you're ready to go in for the kill, 
they'll turn around to you and say, oh, well, wait, we found a thing now. There's a wee problem there. We can't plead something which is not the law. And I'd be telling them, you plead it. That's what you're here for, or get out, or somebody else will. But you will not be up to that. The, none of the people along the pylons are up to dealing with this. I'm one of the few that knows how to how to do this. And I can spot when somebody's trying to have pull, pull a quick one. Remember again, a young barrister with a family and not much money is offered a million. That's offered a million. To, and he, he, he'll he tell you, I'll tell you what we do. Air Grid will pay your expenses. We have a deal. We'll have to withdraw this. Unfortunately, you haven't enough evidence there. You haven't enough for case. Uh, but we've talked to the other side and they're prepared to carry the cost. That means Air Grid will give you the lawyer's cost you hire. The group can give back the money they've collected or do what they like. They have no more financial cost. Airgrid wins and you've been beaten. And it's only cost on Airgrid one euro in every 733 of the total cost of the project. What I'm saying here, folks, is you have to be alert for choosing your lawyers that are not capable of being corrupted. And I know nobody who is better able to spot them than I, than me. I'd know the smell of them. I'd know the look of them. I'll spot them the minute they turn Turk. And if you are wise to them and you tell them from the beginning, no messing, this is easy law, they mightn't do it. This has worked. We're working on it. But the biggest problem I have is not that I haven't the law. I have plenty of law. Great law. It's the ordinary people. Your enemy is your enemy, Airgrid or, and the wind farm companies. They're the enemy. You know how to deal with them. I've dealt with the lawyers. I've dealt with all of the lawyers. I know how they work and I know the whole crack. And you have to remember, in my humble opinion, you'll go to the High Court and there's every possibility they'll give you a dopey judge or a judge that's never heard of this and he won't go with you. You have to be prepared for that. And that has to be prepared in the funding. It's 40,000 to take a judicial review to the High Court. I don't know what it is to go to the Court of Appeal. I'd say you definitely need 20, right? That's 60. And then to go to the Supreme Court, I'd say you need 15 because a lot of the work's already done. So it might be seven, might be 75. I would say about 65 to 70,000 would get you right to the Supreme Court. You have to be a judge in the, depending on the judge, if he's a decent judge, he might rule with you in the High Court. He might send it to the European Court of Justice. If he decides not to, to go with you, you have to appeal to the Court of Appeal, and then you have to argue that, and then you have to go to the Supreme Court. That's what happened with the Friends of the Irish Environment. Usually, if they know you're not going to take any mess, they'll yield to you early on. Now, you go in under Section 160 of the Planning and Development Act, and that immediately you apply for an injunction to stop the pylons. The cases in the European Court on Environment are taken up to two to three years. So if you get your case stuck in, get it through the Irish system and get it referred to Europe, Airgrid has to wait three years. And they say in this newspaper here, they say here in this newspaper that they want it finished by 2026. OK, where did I see it here? Sorry, I had the wrong paper. There it's there. So there it's there. They want it done by 2026. This is the Irish Times. Uh, it's the 3rd of November. I bought it yesterday. Now, so there is the point about it. The difference in the Friends of the Irish Environment case and the case that I have helped to take and, and the, uh, Sweden and the Netherlands on the funding is that everything goes ahead while these cases are going through the court. Everything goes ahead. And once you get the judgment, then if there's a planning application, you can use that ruling to block them. Whereas if you go in on a specific case, you block that project. So if you go into the High Court and you make your case on Section 162 of the Planning and Development Act, you block them effectively unless the judge says, no, I'm not going with this. You immediately get telling me, I want it quick. This is urgent. Get it up to the... Court of Appeal and they'll him and ha, I don't know what they'll do, but they'll probably go against you and then you get to the Supreme Court. So you're only using the lower courts as a stepping stone. And when you get to the Supreme Court, you then get it referred to Europe. In the case of the Friends of the Irish Environment, uh, the High Court rejected it. Mr Justice 
I won't mention his name, there's two in my head, I just forget it. He rejected the, the application. It went to the Court of Appeal, they object, uh, uh, rejected it. The group then went to the, to the Supreme Court. I have no connection with the Friends of the Irish Environment. I thought they were against me a lot of the way, but that's what happened. And in the Supreme Court, uh, those seven judges ruled unanimously it had to go to Europe. And I have no doubt they're going to win in Europe because the European uh, Court, of, uh, Court of Justice couldn't rule against its earlier rulings. We're watching that very tight. So that's something like three years. That's a huge break. This is 2023. That means they can't dig a hole until 2027. It's that simple. 70 grand at best. Now, the thing about it, if you choose the wrong lawyers, their grid can, can nobble them by pay, paying one euro in every 7.33 that the project costs. So that's a big temptation. A million euros is a lot of money. And if it went to it, they'd pay five million to a barrister or, or a, a junior or a solicitor. This has to be kept in mind. I'm not saying they're all crooked. I'm not saying that. I'm saying we, you need to go in there to win and you need to choose very carefully. And for years, my problem was I couldn't get any lawyer to plead this. I'd win myself. And the judge you were pleading to was an idiot too. He had no idea what you're on about. But still, I won one case. So the, 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 they did have to give in to certain things to do with the local. But they want, the government and all, want everything kept on the project level. They do not want it to go above that, to go above that. There is the ruling C2419, 3 You just go into Court of Justice, European Union, CJEU, and you search C-2419, the wind energy guidelines are illegal they weren't covered by the SEA directive 20142 EC and all wind farms built since then those regulations were brought in in 2006 in Belgium have to be removed and taken away I mean you can't have it any, any clearer than that there's the case C C 727 2022 C stroke 72722 and if you go in the first thing the court has to do is hold up the, the whole lot until you get the result from the, that case there. So once you go in and you say there's a case pending in the European Union, you will be applying to the court to hold up this whole pile until you get the result from that case. They are very slow. As they say in Wicklow, they're violently slow. You could be two and a half years. So I think I've made a basic idea. I will hope to make more videos on this as, as the time goes on but really it's a pity of the unfortunate few people but if the groups particularly in Monaghan and in Cavan and in Mead the part of Mead that is not led by NEP and is not going to be uh, led by the nose and told what to do let NEP do their own thing they're not going to go in on the SEA directive they're not going to do it and so this is the way forward and in the next video I'll deal with the other option the bill hooks and all of that but we leave this for now so that's it folks give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and thank you very much